viewers, in our next les lesson, I want to show you how now we can how we can import points. Remember, in our previous lesson, I showed you how we can uh, where to get the points. The, the, the remember, the points are grouped into various formats like Notepad, Excel, or Land XML, or from ArcGIS. So, I'm going to show you how we can put our points so that Civil 3D is able now to read, to convert those points into a parcel of land. So when you come on under insert, <coughs> we've got uh, how we can import points. So we can import point from a file or land XML. So first, first and foremost, I'm going to show you how we can import point from file. So under insert, you click on import point from file. So this is how we import points. Remember these are the formats. ENZ, E means elevation, easting, nothing, and elevation. We have got various formats. We have P, E, N, Z. This is point number. E for ele e easting, N for nothing, Z for elevation, and D for description. So here, we are going to select a file. So when you click on a file, now you can look for your the file that you want to, to import. Remember, here we have got various formats on which you can import files. So we are going to do a text template or TXT format. So we have I've got some sample points here, which now we can import. So I can pick existing surface. That's my point. <coughs> yeah, so once it comes there, now you can see the preview. So on those points, we have nothing, this thing elevation point elevation and also description then you just click ok <coughs> so once you click ok you wait as the po points are being loaded into sable 3d yeah so once the points have been loaded now you can come to zoom so that you can zoom extend so that you can see your files yeah so this these are our points when you zoom out so these are my parcel these are the points from the surveyor these are the, some of the points from the surveyor you can increase the scale so to make it vi more visible yeah so these are our, our points when you hover your mouse on that point you can see it gives you the description of that particular point point number layer, easting, nothing, elevation, yes. So these are various points, so each and every point has a description. So it shows you the number, easting, nothing, and elevation, and which layer it is in. So all these points have been grouped into layers. Another way of importing points, just a minute, I can also pick point from land XML. So when I click on land XML, I've got some points here, which have been put into land XML. This is another format. So I can click point, then I click open, so then it opens. So this is a land XML format, then you click OK. So let's wait. Yeah, so when you look into this as well, you'll see we've got this parcel of land containing various points. So these are our points as well. When you hover your mouse, you can see it gives the point number. So you can import points on, in, on those formats. So when you come to import, you can have land desktop, you can land, land XML. Remember, these are the points from the surveyor. So that's how we import points. So let me just import another point. I don't have Excel, but when you have Excel, you can simply locate where you are where they are. So you can do that, then click open. Yeah, then I click OK. So you can see various ways of uh, importing points. Mm -hmm. Point from a file, you click that plus sign, then we have that as well. You can also open then you click OK. So that's how we import points. Remember, you can only create your own point unless you get it from the surveyor. So it's the surveyor who, who gives us 
the points so that you can import into civil 3D. Just wait a little bit. Yeah. So when you zoom, you see these are another point. So we've got uh, various points which we have imported. So when you look into the drawing in the tool space, you can see there's a dot here on points. That means the points have been created, has been uploaded into civil 3D. So we have also point groups. The point groups, I'll show you how now you can differentiate between these point groups. So the point groups means all points. So all points have been placed into civil 3D. So you can see here, there's a dot showing that all points have been put. We have points and also point groups. So these points, you can, I'll show you how now you can show various uh, description of points. So when you right click on the point group, you can come to properties. So when you click on properties, now these are the properties for all points. So you can see here the information, and this is the point label style. So this is the basic, so it starts with the basic, that's the point style, then we have point label style, how points are labeled. So you can either choose maybe elevation and description, then you click apply. Just wait, still loading. That means it's showing us only elevations and descriptions. Then you click OK. So when you click OK, now you can see how these points are. You can see it's showing us each and every point has a description and elevation. You can also right click again and come to properties. You want to show only point number or elevations only or point number only. So as you click, then you click apply. Then you click OK. So it gives you only the point numbers. Mm. You can also, in the point label style, when you right click, then come to properties, you can also show. Th these are various labels, elevations only. Yeah, then you click apply. When you click apply, yeah, so it's only showing us only the elevations. This one is applicable for all, all our drawings. Eh? So you can see here, we have point number, eh? elevation, and also description. So it depends on which, how do you want to, how do you label your points? Mm. If you don't want those labels because it's a, it's a bit wordy and uh, too wordy, you can still come back to point groups, all points, right click, then properties, then you come and do none. So this, so we've hidden the the, the label style. So we, we just remain with with our only points. So that's how we import points and how we can show various label styles. So it depends on how you want to show various label styles. It can be points number, number only, elevations, or descriptions. So that's how we navigate through the points. So for now, we are going to start with all points. So that's, that's what we have shown. So just right click, and then you come to properties. So in the properties dialog box, now you can show the point label style. OK. Yes. So that's how we import points, and how we can navigate through various uh, description of our points. Thank you so much. Let's meet in the next lesson.